It's the last pickup video of 2018. I am your host, The Stooge. I'm joined by... Knockout Fiona. And we've made it a huge one. We did an epic run just to make sure we had some extra little bits to do a mega, mega pickup video. So geeks, gamers, toy collectors, and general nerds of any description, strap yourselves in because here we are. Go. Let's start with the booby prizes you got. Oh no! You forgot to add charity shop fanatics. That's yeah, a us. charity shop fanatics. That's us. So local charity shops here do like a tombola, so you can buy four or five tickets for a pound, and they've got random prizes on the wall. We wanted what did we want? My Little Pony or what did you say you wanted? A the comic Spider Man book. trade. Yeah. And you got dominoes. And a photo frame. Well, a photo frame can't be too bad, can it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Open it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> My first question. Bam, bam, Who bam. do we know that's old? Who's nearly 50? No, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that, that was a bit of an epic fail, let's say. So let's do the loose toys. They don't have to be in any particular order, but we'll start with this dude. So we got a, another one of these Titan-sized Transformers, the bigger dudes. Uh, he was a pound, I think, or less. I can't remember all the prices. We got a giant Chewie. Maybe we'll do Star Wars while you're there. Yeah, we got a giant Stormtrooper. We got an Obi Wan. Hey, Ooh. you knew that one. Good job. Uh, but he was—he's missing his lightsaber. But that's fine. <laughs> a little chewy thing here. That's actually a light. Hello. <laughs> Very cute. Any more stuff? And we also got a Jedi starship. It's a bit beat up. Yeah, I don't care. So that's pretty cool. All right. So we'll move. Some of these out of the way. Yeah, throw them down there. And Obi-Wan. All right, so also got this giant Tweety. This is just oh. cool. I got, I got, what it Apparently it talks, but we'll have to test that with batteries. But even if it doesn't, it just looks awesome. It's cool. And sticking on that thing, oh, pass me those ridiculous. two plushies there. Ridiculous and totally unnecessary is what you mean by awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so Peppy Le Pew, uh, if you're a Looney Tunes fan, you know Peppy <laughs> is um, kind of rapey. Oh, God. It's all a bit wrong. Yeah, trying to always um, be a bit rapey to that black cat. The cat. Yeah. yeah. Because Not he, a skunk. No, because he, he get, gets covered in paint and he sees a stripe and thinks it's a skunk. Well, here she is. Do they get married in one episode? Hmm. Uh, he can constantly, in one of the episodes, he's trying to marry her and puts a dress on her and stuff. And yeah, hmm. it's, it's kind of rapey. Cute toys. Cute toys. Questionable premise. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, in the end, I think the cat actually starts falling for him. Aww. All right, so we got, here's a uh, Teen Titans cyborg. Now, I believe, oh, the Peppy and the thing, they were three pounds. The Tweety was two pounds. Hmm. Some of these I can't remember what the, mm. these were. So Cyborg and Beast Boy from Teen Titans Go. And then a different version of Cyborg. This is more like the Imaginex, but in better detail. Mm. And a ah. Play School slash Imaginex Rhino. You're pleased with that one. Yeah, this is awesome. How much was he? Uh, he was a pound, I think. Um, little... Hulkbuster Iron Man. Now, this one's unique in the fact that if I get one of the smaller Iron Man toys, I can slide him in there. And he's got his Hulkbuster armor. <laughs> uh, a Thor for 49p. Oh, God. The most annoying tags is that charity shops insist on putting around things. Uh, this was in a bag of stuff that was two pounds, and I pulled this and a couple of other things yeah. out and handed back the um, bag and said yeah you can keep that <laughs> that's a donation a little Mr. Man he's a little bit broken but it still looks cool there was something else in that bag as well mm. we'll find it eventually 
Uh, this is a giant killer croc. I think this is from Brave and the Bold, possibly, or The Batman. I can't... There have been so many Batman cartoons, I can't remember, but it's from one of them. Okay, what is this? These two, that and the one in your hand, these are from Big Hero 6. Oh, I thought so. Yeah. Uh, Baymax here. Yeah. And he does his little... Yeah. Uppercut punch thing. Okay, well, speaking of Batman... Uh, another little Batman figure to add to my Batman collection. This is a cool little figure. I like the... Yeah. I don't know. There's something just cool about that little mm -hmm. figure. Uh, a Superman. This is a dumb figure, but whatever. Okay, what and why? This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. It's a little rubber Superman. And he's... Axe is too heavy for his hand. And why does Superman have an axe? He is an axe. He's Superman. Um, okay. A uh, little knockoff Power Ranger. I got this dude for free. Uh, Grimlock. McDonald's toy. This is from one of the horrible Transformers. That's Grimlock, by the way. What? Yeah, from one of the horrible Transformers oh. series. Uh, hook toy I got for free. Because the nice lady at the charity shop was like, I don't even know what to charge you for that. And she was buying clothes. Sonic I got for free. This is 1998 Sonic. I think Mario was like 20p. What's he wearing? Uh, he's wearing the Hammer Brothers suit, I think. Uh, Luigi, it's like 20p. Two of these? Yeah, somehow... I ended up with two of these Plastic Man that are very cool. Their heads pop up and they twisty so you can make them shorter and taller and stuff. Very cool. These were like 30p each. This was in a lot of stuff. I can't remember. This is Bumblebee from uh, Teen Titans from the DC Superhero Girls line. So there was a bunch of accessories with this and stuff, but I recognize the actual figure. Uh, we got a... Tiny little red skull. Ah! Oh, what in the world? Uh, a Yoshi cup. Now, I feel, thought this might have been uh, McDonald's, but it's not. It's just a... Must have come with a little gift set or something. Mm. Oh! And the piece uh -huh. that is this dance, which we got for free as well, because, again, the lady was like, I don't even know what to charge you for that. Um, we could have gone out and all I found was this and I would have been happy. Look at that flat-topped haircut. That is Guile from Street Fighter. Uh, this is part of the G.I. Joe line, actually. Oh. They released a, a bunch of figures. If you saw a few months ago, I got the Honda. If you go way, way, way back in the channel, you'll see I've got the Chun-Li and a few of the other figures. Uh, this is from 1986. Hasbro. Very cool. Wow. Yeah. All right, so let's clear some of these dudes off. So we've got a little bit of room because we're still going, folks. We're still going. All right. So I picked up six more of the Marvel 500 blind bags from Series 12 and Series 8. We're going to be unboxing them later on today. Yep, I got this little gift set. This was three pounds. Um, I really liked the sort of mix between the 50s and 60s, I think. It could even be 30s and 50s artwork on the mug. Uh, it comes with Superman keychain, whatever, and it comes with chocolate that she's like, I want, so let's <laughs> Ooh, chocolate. open that up now, shall we, so you can get your chocolate out of there. And you folks get a little unboxing. How's that? Because I actually want to see this mug up close. There you go. Yay. Ooh. Ooh, that's not... Ooh. There's like Japanese writing on this. Okay, that's really cool. That's a really unique yeah. mug. Superman keychain. That's whatever. All right. Um, 
There's lots more comic books coming, but these are just the closest, so we're going to knock From these the charity out. Shop. Yeah, charity shop. We got Archie, 99p, and an older Archie, 99p. Archies are cool. I was reading them last night. Were you? Yeah. Um, these were three for a pound. I love DVDs that are three for a pound. Hey, idiot. My cat's playing in the background. Uh, Family Guy, the happy freaking Christmas gift set. So this was just like a little... We best watch that before it's not Christmas anymore. Yeah. And uh, obviously the movie. <clears throat> Which movie? The main movie. Uh, I think it's just Christmas episodes. Nice. All right. Uh, we've got a sealed Alien vs. Predator special edition. And we got, because this looks just like absolute schlock garbage, and I can't wait to watch this, Ninja Terminator! How is this not going to be the best thing ever? This is going to be so bad. It's going to be amazing. Uh, for you... Even Yay. though the rest of your stuff's not in this, but we'll, we'll throw this one in. Uh, 99p, this is actually a Little Pony eraser set. So they look like My Little Pony figures, but they're actual pencil erasers, which is pretty cool. Nice. I got the turtle set recently, so if you watch, you will have seen that. So this is some actual shop purchases. Mm. Um, $7.99, we got the DC Icons <laughs> Lex Luthor in his battle armor figure. Really cool looking figure. Oh, it's part of Forever Evil as well. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I really like the look of this figure. Um, and this was the last one left, so I wanted him. We got 19... No, 1861, because it was a weird sale. Oh, yeah. Uh, and they all they had was Ant-Man and the Wasp, and then behind a pile of Ant-Man and the Wasps, there was one Black Knight. You don't see Marvel Legends over here. And usually they're really expensive. They're like 26, 27 pounds. I mean, even 18 pounds is expensive, but I really like Dane. He's a cool character. What yeah. is a Black Knight? Uh, so he's somebody that was cursed to carry the Ebony Blade. Oh. Which is almost like the other version of Ex like Excalibur's the good version. The Ebony Blade's the bad version. It looks more like a Bushido sword than a... Um, oh, if you look close, you can see it's like a broadsword. Oh, but, okay. Uh, yeah, so, but he's a hero. So the first Black Knight was a bad guy. He let the blade curse him. And the second one is like a, a hero who was part of the Avengers. Very cool character. Um, yeah, let's go that one. <laughs> so this, $12.99, probably my favorite purchase, like shop purchase for, for quite some time. It is the die-cast heavy metal Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. This is actually has some weight to it because mm. it's metal. Uh, going to my Ghostbusters collection, these metal die-cast figs, some of them are really nice. I got the uh, Green Ranger one previously. Really nice mold on it and stuff. The thing I found with this is a lot of them had paint damage. Mm. So if you saw them, there was like paint scratches and a bit of paint wear and uh, paint wasn't... Right. This is the only one that I found that looked really good. So, and there was, I think, about 15 of them there, yeah. and they were all paint chipped. Uh, and the week before, I'd saw one left at the other store, and I'm like, I really wanted it, but there was mad paint chip on it. Like, just on across the chest, so it was just paint chip. They all seemed to have it for some reason. But this one was fairly clean, so we picked him up. This one. Yeah, it's on sale. <laughs> So I picked it up. So I was waiting for two things. One, the console to be hacked. Two, for it to go down in price. Both of those happened within a month of release. Uh, in fact, the hack, I think, happened within a week of release. Mm. The price went down, what, three weeks later? Like it was, you can see it's already opened. Somehow you've got an oil on the box, but whatever. Mm. Um, so $49.99 from, I think it was $89.99. So it's like half price. And yeah, I've already USB hacked the shit out of it. So Are you allowed to say that? <laughs> I didn't say what I did to it. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm. uh, while we're on the theme of games, we got the special edition of Toki. So this is the retro collector's edition that comes with the little arcade machine that you can put together, stickers, comic books, and signed uh, limited edition artwork. This was cheaper than buying the game on its own. 
Um, so Amazon was having a sale. I think this was like 22 pounds. So I'm really happy with that because this is actually a limited collector's edition. Great old school arcade game that not a lot of people know. And it looks art. really good. Mm. Yeah, it, they've done a great job of redesigning it. <clears throat> so it looks the same but nicer. It's down the this guy. Don't mind me, I'm just unboxing that chocolate. Chocolate, yeah, I can hear that. <laughs> yeah, pass me that whole pile. Mm-mm. Okay, so uh, this was two ninety nine. Uh, probably the most I would ever play for uh, a Blu-ray, but I actually watched this recently and it is amazing. I've not seen it. It's so good. I really wanted to watch it again. So for two ninety nine to watch a movie again, whatever. Mm. Uh, this was a pound. Batman Gotham by Gaslight. Great comic. So hopefully the and DC Direct usually does these great movies as well. So hopefully this is good. It's an alternate reality Victorian era Batman. Let's watch it. Yeah. Uh, this was 50p, House of the Dead 3 for Xbox. If you know anything about original Xbox, you do know that this is not the most common game in the world. And for a complete, very nice copy for 50p, I was happy with that. I'll add that to my collection yeah. when my Xbox comes. Yeah, I was going to say, let's just uh, point out you don't actually have an Xbox at the moment. Right now. It's heavy. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> I have one in storage. Mm. Um, got Gundam Versus, twenty four ninety nine. This is a really uncommon game. Uh, very hard to find. Super Japanese. Super Japanese. And I love Gundam, mm. so that, that was cool. And I sniped this in the same week. Uh-huh. Because I was looking at this, but it's still like 40-odd pounds. So I was like, ah. And then I found Gundam Versus pre-owned, so I went, I'll take that. And then two days later, I've sniped this off the shelf straight under someone's nose for £18 new Gundam Breaker. It's actually pretty good. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's a lot of fun. I think people expected more than what it was. Um, this is supposed to be playing with toys. So you've actually got little Gundam toys that you control. And they oh. break and stuff and you get uh, like parts break off. But parts break off the other toys and you can pick them up and use them to replace your parts and stuff. And it's really fun. I'm really enjoying it. And finally, this is also on sale. If you're going to buy this, get it on Amazon. It's £21 at the moment. I think it's 29 pre-owned yeah. and like 30 at um game. So like just Amazon. Really good. It's Spyro, but looks much better. Alright, we're doing these ones? We're doing these ones. Are these second hand? You start uh, with them? Yeah, no. So, pass okay. me just those. So, later on today, as usual, we went down to WoW Comics. We picked up five blind bags. We're going to be unboxing them later on today to see what's in there. What are these? We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Where'd those come from? Um, over here at the news agents, you can get Marvel premieres. So I picked up the Thor Ragnarok premiere, nine ninety five for a trade. It's good value. Okay, let's start with these. So there was four of these uh, printed. I'm missing one. Oh no! No, it's okay because these are rare. Uh, extremely hard to find, and in this condition, absolutely amazing. So for one ninety nine each. We got the Valiant Comics Super Mario Brothers little books that came before the regular series. There was four of them published. So this is I always I never knew how to say that. Tananga. Tatanga? Tatanga invades Earth. That's the bad guy from Super Mario Land, the Game Boy game. Oh wow. Battle against Bowser. And meet the Cooper kids. So the only one I don't have is Mario's special powers. But that's three out of the four for one ninety nine each in absolutely amazing condition. If you're a comic book collector, if you're a Nintendo collector, you know how rare these are and how expensive these are. I was very happy at that price. We got for ninety nine p. Focus, come on. An 80s Thunderbirds annual. Oh my God. Bring it closer if you can, Stu. Look at those creepy dead puppet eyes. So creepy. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
I used to wake up early to watch Thunderbirds. That's, Can yeah. you imagine me waking up early? No. <laughs> no, I can't. But the one I, the annual I really wanted that I was really excited about was the Masters of the Universe annual. Come on. Look at that artwork. Oh, cool. And the fun thing is, a lot of the Masters of the Universe artwork was this like really amazingly painted uh, medieval style artwork. This, you can tell, was taken from the cartoon because the cartoon looked completely different. Mm. Whereas if you saw the boxes for the toys and stuff, they looked amazing. And then there's one random issue mixed in here. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> so I got 32 comics for a pound each. They were all a pound each, including this one. And then they gave me a discount. So it came to 30 pounds. All right, so... Uh, issue of Morbius. This was from the 90s when they were doing the Midnight Suns, bringing Ghost Riders and back and yeah. And then a stack of spawns. So spawn issue two. And these are all bagged and boarded, which is bizarre for a charity shop. Spawn issue three. Issue four. As in, as in like... Number one, yeah, we got? <laughs> two, three, and four. Yeah, six. <clears throat> I that's think I um, can count. <laughs> that's Overkill's first appearance, that massive toy oh, that yeah. I've got. I was asking what he was the other day. Uh, seven. Great wow. art, great cover. Eight. Tom McFarlane did some great covers. All right, we're going to need to... Oh, good. Oh, let's go. I'll just move these here. <clears throat> uh, Eleven. 12. I always loved this cover. It's simple, but there was just something about it I really liked. 21. So what is Spawn again? Uh, Spawn is Todd McFarlane's image book after him and a bunch of other people, including Jim Lee and Sylvester, <laughs> left Marvel. They created Image, and this was his new character, his book. Uh, 22. It's still running to this day as well. It's... Independent, it's the only independent part of uh, Image still. Because DC bought the rest mm. of the Image. They were Wildstorm and all the rest of it. Uh, 23, this is a cool cover as well. I like this cover too. 24. 26. This is one of my favourite covers as well. 27, where he's got a hole in him. Yeah. You might not be able to see them perfectly just because they're in bagged and boarded. Uh, this is 28. It's cool. Look at that. It's so violent. Yeah. Graphic. 29. <clears throat> this is a cool cover too. Not a kid's book. 30. Jeez. Uh, the Redeemer. 31. So what's his story? So Al Simmons dies and goes to hell. Because he was not a good person. Mm. Uh, and the devil needs a new general. But it needs to suffer first. Uh, the Violator, 33. So he sends him back a spawn and gives him just enough of his memory so he knows he was once a person. 34, there's Violator as a clown. Um, That's creepy. So he remembers his wife, he remembers his old wife and stuff, but he's a monster now. 35. And does he try and fight back against the devil? or? Yeah, so he tries to fight back. 36. To no avail? Well, here's the irony. He's got limited power, and he doesn't know that. So the more he fights, the more he uses, the closer he goes to going back to hell. Uh, 37, that's a cool cover. 38. So he's got to figure out a way to beat the devil. 39. I like my cover too. I remember that. 40, I'm pretty sure that was on uh, the cover of Wizard that year as well. For Christmas. 41. So Spawn's up to like 200 and something now, I think. 
42. That's cool. And that's not a McFarlane cover either. Uh, this is where McFarlane came back to do covers again. 82. And 86. So what's with the chains? Um, they follow him around. Is it like the chains to hell or something? Yeah, that's like he's, he, the chains of his bondage of his life. Oh, gosh. All right, so that was our pickups for this time around. There is so much crap. It is awesome. Until next time, though, I have been your host, The Stooge. Knockout Fiona. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Happy New Year, folks. Happy New Year. I'm going to have some more of this delicious Batman chocolate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And until next time, don't forget, adventure, excitement. A Stooge craves not these things. Welcome to the Stooge Revolution. This is Stooge Club.